What's going on everybody? This is going to be my tutorial on how to speed on any percent for Amnesia the Bunker. This category does use glitches to get to the end of the game, so if that's not your thing, I will be trying to make a glitchless category tutorial uh, in the coming days as well. You don't really need to know a whole lot going into this. All you need to really keep track of, if you go into your controls and your key bindings, is your rotate key. I have this bound to R myself. I think by default it is T, and I'm not sure what it is on controller, but this is the only key bind outside of your general movement that you really need to know what it is. In order to do this, just go to new game, choose any save slot, doesn't matter. I'm gonna choose three, uh, overwrite it. You can choose any difficulty for 80%. Uh, we're just gonna put on easy for the sake of things. And now if you've beaten the game before, when you click start, these options also don't matter. Uh, you will get the skip intro. If you don't have this, that means you haven't beaten the game one time through. So make sure you go and do that so you can skip the tutorial. Uh, skip intro, start a new game, continue, yes. Now, if you want to time your runs and submit it to the category leaderboards, look down here in the bottom right. When you see a lantern flash after the screen goes black, that's when time will start. You can have this set up automatically through live split, but if you're running on console or you don't have the live split, that's where your time will start. So right there, you see that little flicker in the bottom right? That's when you want to start your timer. Now you do have to sit through this. There's not much you can do. Uh, once time starts, it's about 50 seconds until you actually gain control of your character. And that's when the tutorial will actually start. So once you wake up, you will have control of your character for the first time. You want to look to your left and you're going to be grabbing this box. Now it is important you grab it in like a very specific location. So you want to grab in this upper right corner. Don't grab the corner all the way at the end. Uh, don't grab too far left and too far down. Kind of right at this beam in the middle. And we're going to walk to the right to this wall. Um, best way is just to navigate like this. And now you want to hit your rotate key. That's going to bring the item into you. And you're going to look down. So you're kind of next to the wall. This box is clipped into your collision. And you're just going to, from here, quickly let go of grab and hold it once again. That should clip you right outside the map. If you don't clip out, just drop the box and then set it all back up. You know, look at that corner. Hit your rotate key. Bring it into you. Uh, and hold right into the wall as you clip. And you should land down here. From here... Uh, if you're a little bit disorientated from being outside the map, if you see this corner, just turn to the right. You want to look for the generator, turn left, uh, because we need to go around the side over this. There's actually a little bit of room to walk here. You're perfectly fine. You can sprint, uh, just don't go flying off the map. Uh, and you want to look over for the tunnel. This is where we're used to clip back and bounds, and a lot of people had issues, but there's actually a better route now that doesn't do that. So look where this rock kind of ends, and you want to aim right about there. That should hit the map load screen. So you see the little icon in the bottom right, and then you get on top of this tunnel. If you miss this, just, you can see where this hits once again. Uh, aim a little bit more to the right, and maybe you'll end up over here instead. Uh, once you've gotten to this part, instead of clipping in the way we used to, we're going to run down the tunnel on top of it. Follow along, you can jump on top of this stuff. Once again, you can sprint freely. You're looking up for this little pocket. So you want to drop here, be careful not to drop off the map, and then you just want to sprint or wiggle back and forth in that little spot, and you should drop in right here in the tunnel. Now, coming up is the end of the game. You do have to be a little fast when you're doing this. The only part that actually matters because the monster will spawn in, and if you're not fast enough, he will kill you, and you'll basically just have to reset the run and do it all again. So we're going to try to cover this quickly, but um, it is a little bit tricky, so you might have to practice it on other props. And I do have a prop flying tutorial on my YouTube, which I'll link down in the description and also probably the pinned comment if you want more understanding on it. Uh, there is a fun little trick you can do here. It's not important to do, but if you jump off of this, you kind of do a curve in the air um, and land on this slope, you can get some momentum. And you just keep mashing jump to kind of carry that through. So not super important, but if you want to save that extra little bit of time, you can do that. All right, so we're going to jump on the shovel, stand on top of it, double click it, 
jump once and then start sprinting and moving the mouse up a little bit so you're flying up in the air. Once again, I have the tutorial on prop flying uh, on my channel that you can go and watch if you want more information on how to do this, maybe you're struggling. Uh, get over the wall, get over the stairs, run up this way towards the exit of the cave. You want to crouch down and push the big rock. Don't push the top one, it'll move with this. Um, and as soon as you lose control, right about there, that's where your time's going to end. Once again, if you have live split set up to do this automatically, you don't have to worry about it, but if you're on console or not using live split, that's where time ends. You've beaten the game, you've completed any percent, congratulations. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments down below. I will do my best to answer it.